Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sellers Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we are diving in deep to the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine serpentine belt diagram. So let's jump in it. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments section down below. Let's dive in. How do you know it's time to check your serpentine belt? Look out for these signs. Unusual noises like squeaking or chirping from the belt, visible cracks, fraying, or if the belt looks shiny or glazed. These symptoms suggest the belt is worn and could fail soon, risking engine damage. With the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, this serpentine belt should be replaced every 30,000 miles. And I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of stuff in the way to getting to this serpentine belt. And yes, there is. The dealership wants you to go to them to pay them to get all this done. But no worries, we can get these tubes out of the way and access that serpentine belt with ease. Let's get you back on the road without breaking the bank. The tools you will need for this replacement is a serpentine belt tool or a breaker bar. Also an 8mm, a 10mm socket with ratchet and last but not least a 15mm wrench with a 16mm I use to double wrench the belt tensioner to take the serpentine belt off. When removing the intake tubes don't forget your sensors that are plugged in and the tubes that are connected as well. You do not want to break any of your electronic wiring. Now let's focus on the heart of today's topic, the serpentine belt diagram for the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. This diagram is your roadmap for installation. After you have removed the intake tubes, you will be able to access the serpentine belt a lot easier working around the intercooler tubes and the coolant lines. You can see right in there. Grab your new belt. Following the diagram, route it around the pulleys. The correct path is crucial for proper function. Once positioned, reapply the tension with the serpentine belt tool, ensuring that the belt is secure. A final inspection, confirm everything is aligned, and you're good to go. Serpentine belt diagram for the 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Goes around the crankshaft, right side of the belt tensioner, left side of the AC pulley, and then it goes over the alternator. Just like that, I'm gonna throw up the uh, belt diagram for you guys. That way you don't have to search for it all over the place like I did and uh, you can get your serpentine belt on easy peasy. All right guys, there you have it. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine serpentine belt diagram done and completed and you saved yourself a couple hundred dollars. Congratulations, make sure you like and subscribe the video. That way YouTube and myself both know that I'm doing a good job on the videos and you guys are saving yourself money on your automotive repairs this year. So, all right guys, thank you so much and until next time, Keep on wrenching, guys. Take care.